Welcome back, everybody. I think I've been trying to fight off the cold and flu. Like every few weeks, you start feeling that scratchiness. You're like, what do I do? Don't give it to me. I know. <laughs> the cold and flu season is here, and it gets everyone thinking about ways to try and boost their immune system. Yeah, and we know that there's a lot of products out there claiming that they can do that. Today, Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with what works and where you should save or spend your money. Your immune system is made of a complex system of cells, body organs, chemical signals, molecules, and proteins that all work together to defend your body against everything from viruses to cancer. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news because it is so complicated, the idea that any single dietary supplement or alternative remedy is the answer, well, that's just absurd. The average person has the tools to fight infection built in. The problem is we often don't take care of them. Start with the basics. Sleep. Studies have shown people who get less than six hours of sleep a night, well, they're more likely to become infected with common cold viruses than people who get more than seven hours a night. What you eat is also important. Make sure you're eating a good balance of foods that provide a variety of essential vitamins and minerals that are necessary to help your body build things like cells and proteins that it needs to fight infection. I say variety because there is no single vitamin or mineral that's proven to improve immune function. It's the combination of things like selenium with vitamins A, C, and D, for example, that are generally protective. So what about additional supplements like high doses of zinc or B vitamins? Well, studies have not shown any benefits, so at very least it's probably a waste of money, and there are studies suggesting mega doses of some supplements might worsen immune function, so buyer beware. Now, if that all sounds like common sense, it is. The problem is, I found most of us forget it, or we put it aside as our lives get busy or we become distracted by social pressures and other things. Just remember, take care of the basics. There are no shortcuts to better health. I'm Dr. Frank McGeorge. Back to you.